Hi guys, it's Big Al and I'm back with my Football Manager 2018 Boyhood Return Series with Barn United. Today we're up against St. Luke's and I don't know who the other team is, Balnehenge United. So away against St. Luke's, home against Balnehenge. He's with us for the 1-1 draw against Colin Valley. So this is the team that's going to take on St. Luke's at least. It's Anderson and Goals with Large Boyd, Murdoch and Gardner across the back. With Martin and Muldrew in the midfield. And in front of them is Anderson, Wickham and Kelly with Kane up front. On the bench we have Shannon, Khan, Lindsay, Sharples and Bell. So we're looking for our first win of the season. And yeah, okay, we're not worried about any of that. So fingers crossed that we can actually beat St. Luke's. They're down in 12th in the table at the minute. They lost their first game of the season, I believe 2-0. So hopefully, fingers crossed... We can come out here and get three points in the bag. They're playing exactly like for like formation as well. Okay. Okay. Well, are indeed. 13th, actually. 13th. So, we're in the black with the yellow strip, stripe, and they're in the all yellow. As as you know, kickoffs very rarely and if it ever happens. No, it would be nice if we could score from kickoff, but I'm not going to hold my breath. Although we are having a nice build up here with Gardner. He whips it in. He's fine, Kelly, but that's easy. Kelly's offside, so that's going to be for the end of the highlight. Not a bad start. And a scored, and we have a dangerous free kick. Wickham in the Martin. Martin went for the shot. Why don't you just lay it in? Simple pass into the edge of the box. And Gardner now with the throw in. Wickham whips it in. No one there. Absolutely terrible. Why are we all at the front post? And now comes a counter-attack now by St. Luke's. And they've played in McKinney, who gets in behind the defenders, but we've managed to get a couple of guys back there. McKinney plays it out wide to the Gardner on their side, who plays a ball in, and we should clear that up. Large, what have you done? McKinney picked it off Large. Oh, Large got the tackle in, but it's given it back to Ford, and we've went one nothing down. Absolutely diabolical defended by Barn United, and Jeff Ford punishes them. Literally punishes them. That was absolutely diabolical. Why Lars just didn't thump this out of the box? What was he doing? He let McKinney get in. Good slide tackle to recover. But then just, oh, absolutely diabolical defending. Goal. Anderson with a goal kick. Can we actually pull one back? Up towards Wickham. He can't get there. And then looks like Dilly Dally on it. Martin, the Wickham. He plays it inside the Muldrew, who plays in Andy Kane. Can Kane score? Yes, he can. It's an immediate response from Barn United. Andy Kane gets two and two. And uh, offside, no chance. No way was it offside. And we're up the eighth again. Great football by the midfield. Dilly dallied. Martin won it back. Wickham laid it in. And Muldrew just plays it between the two defenders. Oh, it might be a suspicious offside, but great finish by Andy Kane. It's 2-2 two and two for him. And we are back in this game. Now they get the highlight. Bingham with a throw in. Can we win this? McGrath. The McGovern. Boyd intercepts it. Much better, but we're giving it away. Winchester. Murdoch with the header out. But it comes back to Maxwell, who pumps it in. Gardner again. Now back to McGovern. McGrath. Gardner gets a challenge in. Kane can't, is never going to get there. Bingham plays it into Winchester. Who plays a beautiful ball at the forward. Who beats large. But Boyd picks it up. He plays an early ball to Kane. Kane holds it up. Good football by Andy Kane. Lays it back to Gardner. And he just takes his time. Pumps it over the top. No one's going to get there. But we've picked it up with Anderson now. Anderson into Muldrew. Who set up the first goal. Muldrew. The Kelly. Kelly can't get there. But it's been awarded a pallet day. Oh, I don't know why. Winchester can't believe it. I can't, don't know what the penalty was for. I didn't see him because of the shaking of the camera. Because of the terrible graphics. And D. Wickham with his chance to open his account. And he puts it top corner. And it's Barn 2. St. Luke's 1. D. Wickham with a beautiful penalty. Shame he can't do that in real, in real life. But a beautiful finish nonetheless. Here in the game. Top corner. Pick it out. Keeper no chance. 
Two goals in the space of three minutes for Barn United. And this is much, much better. This game has come to life. That moves us up to fourth in the table as well. Oh, can't tell you because we've got a corner against this now. They played it to the edge of the box to McKinney. And that's about ten times wide. I might as well hit the corner flag, McKinney. I'm waking with the corner. Can we get a third before half time? Winchester wins it. Anderson. Oh, just wide of the post by Anderson. And that. Waking with a corner again. Whips it in. Dangerous ball and Bingham this time clears up and Maxwell will just play that down the line and McKinney's picked it up though. Will we get the challenge in? McKinney holding it up nicely at the halfway line. He's now got to the byline, now got to the edge of basically the throw-in area. He's played it inside the McGrath who plays a beautiful ball along the board forward and where was the right back? Where was large that time? Nowhere to be seen. Free kick. Wake and Wake steps over it. Oh Blocked in the corner. Can wake and whip in a decent corner. Nope. We get half time. We didn't get a chance to hit that corner in. Not a bad first half for us. Not too bad at all. Just make the changes. I can't remember who's on the bench though. Okay. So we have a left back and a right back. We don't have a right back. So I'm going to put... Oh, we do. Go put Lindsay in the left back role. And we'll bring Aaron Bell on the right back. That's a double change at the back for us. What does Lindsay want to be? Defensive. Hey, where'd I go? Defensive fullback on defend. Okay, that's fine. He doesn't need to bomb forward. Let's start the second half. No other changes required. I sent Luke's kick off. We played a very good first half. And there's already the loose ball by St. Luke's as we close it down. And they've played it back to Winchester. He just pumps it forward to McKinney. He seems to be a pretty good target man. And he went and Bell with a good thumping header. That's what we were missing in the first half. And they've got it back with Cooling now. Winchester game with that same ball forward. They're through him. Bingham. Can we intercept it though? Down the line to McGrath. Bingham back again. Boyd intercepts. Muldrew plays it out wide to Kelly. Kelly's got space. Kelly takes on his man. Cuts it inside. He's found Muldrew. Plays a beautiful ball in for Kane. And it's 3-1 for Barn. Andy Kane with his second and third of the season. A lovely brace for Kane. Can he get his hat trick? That is the question. Great football by Kelly. Took it out. He could have went wide with it. But no, he cut inside instead. Brought all the defenders over. Muldrew sees the gap again. Sacks him as the first goal. Front post. And Andy Kane gets his third goal of the season in two games. And that's the kind of striker you want up front. A corner, wake him to whip it in. Whips it in. Can we go on the end of it? No, we cannot. But Martin gets it at the edge of the box. Anderson's free. Anderson and it's 4 1 Barn United. And Anderson with his first goal of the season. David Anderson, what a way to start your season off. Him and Wickham with both their first goals of the season. And it's Barn 4, so it looks 1. Nice little swing in by Wickham. They thought they had defended it. Only got it to the edge of the box. Martin looked out wide. Anderson was free and so was the centre back and Anderson just buried it into the bottom corner. This team I reckon we could do it. Wickham whips it in. Anderson's there again. Oh, I thought he was going to score a header. I thought it was going to be 5-1 and a little brisk for David Anderson. But no, keeper stood firm. Bingham with a throw in. Can we intercept it? McGrath. McGrath. Swings in the cross. Easy for Anderson. Good goalkeeping. By the 16-year-old goalkeeper that we have at the club. We've got Shannon on the bench. But that was a terrible outlay. Bingham thumps it over the top. McKinney's in behind the centre-backs. Can Anderson save it? Yes, he can. The 16-year-old pulls out the save. It was his mistake in the first place. Can we defend the corner though? I have no tactics set up. This is default. I keep forgetting I need to set tactics up. And we have cleared it. And Muldrew will pick it up. Can we counter-attack? No, it goes out for a throw-in. Muldrew, you should have kept that in play. I, at the minute, I don't want to make it. Bingham with a throw in. McGrath whips it in. Bell with the interception. That's better. We didn't have that in the first half. Cooling picks it up for them. He looks out wide. Ford now picks it up. Can Bell get across there? Well, Ford gets across him. Bell holds him up. But he does get across back to Cooling. And McGovern now has a gap. But, oh, boy with the block. That was a shocking play by McGovern. Very good. He could have laid it off again. McGovern will take the corner. Can we clear it? 
Wickham is with the header out. Right? McKinney picks up the loose ball. Can we close it down? No, we can't. Cooling. He looks, finds McGovern, who with a fantastic challenge by Martin in the middle. Now, Bingham with a free kick. He whips it in. Great defending by Bell and Wickham the key the Kelly. Can we counter attack now? Kelly's got a, the whole right hand side of the pitch. He sprints down to the byline. He bits his man. Kelly plays it inside. Kane. Oh, he plastered it wide. Andy Kane. Brilliant football by Mark Kelly down the line. We're not set. Bingham with a free kick. Oh, the wall blocks it. Muldrew. We'll play it down the line. McLean should get there. Kelly not even chasing it hard. Kelly, nice, oh, mistake. I should have kept. In case you're wondering, guys, McKinney. McKinney holds it up. He bits his man. Ford coming in hard. We cleared it, but McGovern and Anderson. Whoa, Bell cleared it, though. Don't know what Anderson was doing there, but he should have picked that up with ease. And it's now all St. Luke's now. Ford. Thompson. Ford whips it in near post. Boyd with the clearance. Kelly played it back into his own box. Terrible football. And they have scored. Cooling with the goal. The substitute gets on the score sheet. Kelly with the mistake by heading it back across his own goal. Ford get the cross and Boyd cleared it out. Ke was it? Ke yeah, Kelly headed it across his own goal. McGovern picked it up. McKinney and bottom corner pick it out by Cooling. Fantastic finish. It's now St. Luke's 2, Barn 4. Anderson with a goal kick. Can we win this in the air? No. Simple for them. Cooling. But Con intercepts it. The fresh legs. Kane goes for goal but puts it mile wide. He could have held that up and looked out right or right left. And we Lindsay with the throw in. Back to Muldrew. Muldrew loses it to McGrath. And he plays it inside to McKinney. Who Khan gets back, great defending by Khan. And now Kelly, Kelly, will he beat his man? He goes for the byline, he does, he beats his man. Whips in a beautiful ball, Anderson! Oh, keeper with a great save, fantastic football again by Mark Kelly down that right. Forward, easy for Mahal. I don't know, even know how to say that. McLean with the ball forward and Kelly's in behind the back too. Kelly and Anderson with a save, Muldrew with a thumping head around, but it's only found Bingham. Can we get the challenge in? Khan does again. Great defender by Khan. Bell. With a throw in. Kelly. Oh, Kelly gives it away. Ford now. Looks inside for McKinney. McKinney skips past his defender. And it's wide by McKinney. He should have done better after beating the defender with ease. Bell with a free kick. Looks inside the Muldrew. He finds Wickham. Wickham back to Muldrew. Muldrew lays it in. Can Anderson finish it off? It's, oh, it's not given as Rosario won a lot of a group. I might play Shannon and see if we can not concede as many goals in the next game. Lindsay gets from the goal kick. Beautiful ball forward. Can Kane get on the end of it? Probably not. That's a bit too drastic. As El Hatton, the McLean to Winchester, pumps a beautiful ball over the top. Keeper should be there all day long. Easy for Anderson. Pumps it forward. Kane flicks it on, but no one there. Bingham picks up the loose ball. He's been pretty dangerous for them, even though he got booked early on. McGrath running at the defence. He's found McKinney. He'll beat his man, and he went for goal and puts it wide. I think the keeper had it covered, to be fair. Because I said I'm bringing every single game. Um, it's going to be coming out, I believe, a Wednesday, Thursday, fr it might be Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I believe. So I think you guys will be watching this on Saturday. And that's, that's the way I'm going to try. I'm going to try and do it three times a week for you guys. So there we go. Three points in the bag for the first game. 4-2 victory. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm not surprised everyone's delighted. That was an amazing game for us. Exactly what we needed. And it's a great way to start off. So guys, thank you very much. I'll see you shortly for the second game, which is a... Yes, I can't even remember. That just shows you. Balnehens United. And then as you can see, the next two games are Rosario. One in the league away. Well, both games are away. One in the league and then the first round of the Irish Cup. So they'll be coming both to you live uh, next week as it, as this recording will be going in. So it'll be next uh, Thursday. Yeah, next Thursday you'll see the two Rosario games. 
But we'll be back shortly for the game against Ball and Hange, and let's see if we can get a second set of three points. See you shortly on the other side. Hi guys, it's Big Al, and welcome back. So, as you guys were aware, you just seen the result of 4-2. Well, that actual result is now obsolete. Um, because as I was recording this half, if you've been on my Twitter, you will have noticed that we had an error on the 85th minute after being 3-0 up against Ball and Hange United. So it's taken me 18 attempts to get the score as close to the result as what we had. So, St. Luke's now finished 4-3. <laughs> I do apologise, it was 4-2 in the video, but I had already recorded the St. Luke's game, saved it, and then moved on to for, the second half, for the second game, I didn't keep it as one full recording. So it took me so many attempts to get it as close. This was the closest I could get it. It was 4-3 victory. So we still won the game, 4-3. We're up against Ballon Hines United today. I kept the squad the same as what it was whenever I first recorded Ballon the Hinge. I'm hoping that it uh, comes out with the same result. If we get bit, oh well. But uh, I'm going to move this along. And we did have an error. We were 3-0 up and it then errored with a crash dump error. I do have the screenshot. It's on my Twitter page. So if you go to twitter.com uh, slash Big Al Sports World because it doesn't have the D at the end of it, you will literally see the crash dump on the 85th minute with the 3-0 result. So I'm hoping we can rekindle that and get another 3-0 result here. Now obviously Downshire in the last episode drew two each. This time they won 3-2, so they're now nine points. And at that stage we were top of the league on seven points. So it's a little bit different than what it was whenever I last recorded it, or attempted to record this game. So I've now saved the game, so no matter what happens, if it crashes again during this game, it won't matter because I've already saved the St. Luke's game this time. Well done, Alan. Learn to save whenever you're doing multi-videos after you save the first video. So again, Wicken with a free kick. He's found Jack Martin and he's put it just over the bar. Oh, he's Martin from distance puts him over the bar and then he gets a cracker and goal somewhere along the lines. Cole with a goal kick. Toward Burns, but Murdoch gets in there. Lindsay pumps it over the top, but doesn't get there. Martin does. Wake him. Kane holds it up nicely into Kelly. Kelly plays it down the line for Kane. Kane into Wake him. Can he go one more? He does. Anderson. Oh, saved by the keeper and cleared by Brashaw. Oh, all it needed was a touch, and it would have been in the back of the net as I adjust my headset because it's far enough my head. I ain't got a big head either. It's quite a small head I have. Clearly can tell because the headset keeps falling off. Dave Wickham swings it in. Who's there? Nobody. Martin picks it up though. He looks wide to Anderson. Anderson takes it to the byline. No, he doesn't. Try to get a slide tackle in. Kelly lays it across. And Martin. And it's in. Martin who started the move after the corner. Gets on the end of it. And it's barn one. Ball the Hench United nil. We're up to third in the table. And what a way to start this. Less than four minutes into the game. It's Barn United 1. Ball the Hench United nil. All came from a corner from D. Wickham. Whips it in. Templeton with a thumping header out. Martin played it in the Anderson. He took it a bit wide in my opinion. He then played it back into Kelly. He then looked wide. And there was Martin making that run in. And just buries it into the bottom corner. Kind of start that we wanted for this game. So much better. All oh, free kick to them. Elliot plays it out wide toward Burns. There's two Burns plays for this team. Podrick Burns and Gavin Burns. Plays it in Rudy. Easy for Shannon. Great save by Greg Shannon. As you know, Anderson played the last game. Did okay. But Ander Shannon starts today. Hayes with a throw in. Muldrew. Lindsay. Can we get a second? In the Anderson. Plays a beautiful ball forward, but Brashaw's there. And then Hayes pumps it down the line towards Podrick Burns. But Murdoch's there. And he'll look for Lindsay. Lindsay's going the wrong way. So is Murdoch. Play it back. Play it down the line. Just good football. Lindsay then pumps it. Can Kane get on the end of it? Kane does get on the end of it. He hits a shot. What a goal by Andy Kane from the edge of the area. Andy Kane has scored a cracking goal there. And less than 10 minutes in, and we're two, Barney and Ed, two, Ballon Hinch nil. Murdoch and Lindsay torching Podrick Burns down the wing. Then Lindsay just hits a beautiful ball over the top. And Andy Kane in between the two centre backs, 
Closed him down and boom, bottom corner. What a goal. Very audacious indeed. And the goalkeeper, Max Cole, had no chance in hell of saving that. As Rosario, who's our next two videos, are now winning 1 0. But we're 2 0 up. That's a fantastic start for us. Portaferrier beating Don Donald 1 0 as well, by the way. Hayes with the throw in. Muldrew, Anderson can't get there. He's given away a penalty. Oh, he's brought Podrick Burns down. And this could be a chance for Balahinch United to pull it back. Or can Greg Shannon save it? Who's going to hit it? Is it going to be Podrick? It's not. It's Templeton. Templeton against Shannon. Templeton sends Shannon the wrong way. Good finish by Templeton. And that puts Balahinch United back into the game. Dodgy defending by Anderson. No need to put the challenge in whenever he did. And a fantastic finish by Templeton. Into the roof of the net. And it's now barn 2, barn the Hens United 1. But that's okay. We, we'll, I'm happy. We're still in third. I want automatic promotion. I'm going to aim for automatic promotion this season. If we get a third goal, that would be amazing. It's 15 minutes in, guys. And we've already had three goals. Elliot with a corner. Can we counter? Muldrew. But it's fine. Podrick Burns. Who thumps it mile wide. I could, don't mind that. He can thump them wide all day long. All day long. As the Murray are one up over Colin Valley. And it's 20 minutes. Nearly 20 minutes gone. It's still 2-1 to Barn United. It's been pretty even. They've had more shots than we have. Both, both teams only get two in target. Two fouls each. Possession 52-48 in our, in our favour. I'd like to start seeing more shots coming in from us. In the last game against Ballina Hens, they had one shot the whole game. Already, they're doing much better this game. They've had two. <laughs> they have won the whole game. We had like 20-odd shots and like six on target. And we were only 3-0 up. So, But it's what happens. Back to recording again. So that's all that's good. Templeton looks for Elliot. Plays it back to Templeton. Can we get a challenge in? Templeton pumps over top for Rudy. Boyd's there. Plays it back to Shannon. Does Shannon. Pumps it forward. Keane can't get on the end of that. No chance. Hayes picks up the loose ball. And he plays it back to Cole. Who's going to play it straight out to Evans. Who's now looking to Templeton. He plays a beautiful ball in. But Murdoch intercepts. Now can Anderson make up for his mistake. Anderson runs down the line. He beats his man. And puts a beautiful call out. I was saying. And what did Kelly do? Templeton got the block in. I thought Kelly was going to bury it in the bottom corner. Wake him with a corner. Can we go on the end of it? Wick him. Pumped it in. Heron clears out. But it's come. Brashaw's going to get there. Didn't get all the way to Wickham. And he plays it back to Cole. Dangerous. Can we get it? Martin chasing back. Jack Martin picks it up. He's already scored one today. Oh, 25 minutes. Lindsay now with a throw in. The Kane. Wick him. Well, Wick him goes back to Lindsay. Back to Muldrew. Muldrew with a shot, mile and a half wide. You might as well hit the corner flag, Muldrew. Jesus Christ. There's not many tactics set up. We have no corners, free kick tactics. They're all default. I haven't changed any of them. I need to change them. I just haven't. I've done Donald who pulled one back against Porta Ferry. And Bally Walter gone 1-0 up over St. Luke's as well. But we're still in the third, which is nice. Ian Ball, oh. he's their goal scoring threat, is he? Him and Podrick Burns. I'll settle for a 2-1 victory. I would have preferred the 3-0 victory that we had in the first game. Would have been way better. Wakem with a free kick. Goes for goal, but puts it high, wide, and wide. Ah, oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Will we get a third before half time? That is the question. They're starting to pick up a lot more fouls than we are. Bell. With the throw in. He's found Kelly. Who finds Elliot. Finds Kelly. It's made it to Kane. Kane has a shot. But Evans blocks it and clears it. And it's gone out of, down the line. I think I went out of play. I don't know where it went in the end. It looked like I just went past my defender and just sat there. 
not as good as the first game, I have to be said. The first game was way better from us. And we got a double header against the league leaders, Rosario, because they are currently league leading the league at this present time in second. Yes, I know Anderson's having a shocking game. And here they come. Are they going to equalize before half time and just ruin my day? Burns, Lindsay with a good challenge. And the other Burns goes for goal and just put it just wide. I think it's Gavin Burns is the other player for them. They got the Burns brothers. Hard to say. But 40 minutes gone. Come up to half time any minute. Muldrew's looking nervous for us. I'm not surprised after they're getting more and more shots. And they've had better, more shots on target. Can we can put this on target? We can. Oh, just over the bar. It's getting closer and closer. That one just went over the bar. I thought I was going to nestle top corner. It just went over. It's getting closer than free kicks. Two minutes they add on. Till half time. It's still barn two. But on the hench next it's one. And we've been the more danger of the teams I reckon. I know they've had three shots on target there too. But, and we scored both of ours. Come on ref. Blow the whistle. Two minutes is up. There it is, half time. Into the old dressing room. Now, do we take Mr. Anderson off? He's our lowest rated player. I could give Gavin Con on for Anderson. Yeah, let's throw Con on. Con can play every position. He can't really. I just make him play every position. Anderson give away the penalty. Kong comes on. Let's see if Kong can do a job. They kick off. Burns the Evans. I can't see much happening from kickoff for them, to be fair. Oh, I don't know why I'm yawning, guys. I just finished work and set, decided I would try and re record this episode before I, so I can upload it in time. But we're 2-1 up. And I don't know why I'm yawning, because I do apologize for all my yawning. I do have... Just somewhere. Con. Con. He's only on the pitch. Oh, he's giving it away. He's not a winger at the end of the day. He's a defender. <laughs> I'm just making him play every position. Con plays it down the line. Or sorry. I don't know who played it down the line for them. But Burns is on the end of it. He crosses it. Nobody there. Rudy's now picked up the loose ball. What's our left back doing? Plays it back in. Martin has given away a second penalty. Oh, my God. God, man. It's Gordon Burns, not Gavin Burns, by the way. Two penalties we're giving away now. Absolutely shocking. Templeton's got a chance to score second of the game. And I don't know how that bit the keeper. No clue whatsoever. Let's put us on attacking. We should not be losing this game. We should not be drawing this game. It's two penalties we give away. Two easy goals to them. How he bit the keeper there is beyond me. Gavin, Shannon just like, it just went through him. It just went through him. Shocking play by us. Yeah, I'm frustrated too. That's just ridiculous. Now we give away two stupid penalties. They make it two each. I want an automatic promotion. We're just killing ourselves here for this automatic promotion. I know we're only in the second game and the third game, third game of the season, but this game's with the guess we should be winning. Murdoch straight from the corner at long last. We find someone to get on the end of one, and that's what happens. Ben Murdoch with his first ever goal. And Barn United didn't let Ballon the Hens get away with scoring that second. We went straight out, straight up the pitch and scored. Wake him with a corner. Murdoch got marked. Bottom buried it. Absolutely buried it. And that's much better. It's taken us, what, less than two minutes to pull a lead again? That's what you want. This is much, much better. We give away two soft goals in this game so far to Mr. Templeton. He's had two penalties, two goals. It's just not good enough. He's a player I actually like. And I'm going to see if we can sign him. Shannon. Looking for Kane. Kane gets there. Con, What can Gavin Con do with it? Con, He's still there. He's giving it away again. He cannot play in the wing. Wickham wins it back though. But Gain gets challenged. And now Burns plays it forward. But Murdoch intercepts. Bell. Kelly. Pumps it forward. Looking for Kane. But he's not going to get there. Hayes gets there instead. Hayes. Pumps up down the line. 
Lindsay's there. Plays it in the con. Muldrew. In the Wickham. Back in the cane. Who tried to find Wickham but played it behind him. But Bell picks up the loose ball. Kelly. Can Kelly bit his man? No, he lays it back to Bell who plays it into the middle. Muldrew. Oh, great challenge by Bradshaw. Con's in. Con. Oh, great save by Cole. And I thought Con was going to score. He must. His eyes must have lit up because he's not a winger. And he's like, I'm playing every position, boss. That poor guy, Con, has literally played about five different positions for me now. He comes on in every game for a different position. I guess I could put Sharples on the wing and put Con in the centre midfield. But I'll leave him out there. I'm not sure his name's Gavin Con. It is Gavin, isn't it? Or is it Gary? Where's my mouse? Why can I not click on my players? That's better. I didn't click on that. Oh, that'll be why. Murdoch with a free kick. He finds Khan. Khan, what's he going to do with it this time? If he loses it again, I'm going to go nuts. He swings it in. Keaton! Oh, Cole intercepted it. That was very, very lucky for Bally, for Ballina Henge. I was about to say Bally Walter. For Ballina Henge because Keaton nearly got on the end of it. Cole pumps it up. Bell intercepts. Kelly finds Martin. Who finds Wickham. Who will look inside for Kane. Kane gets in behind his man. And Andy Kane. What a goal in off the post. It must have went in off the post. And it's a brace for Andy Kane. Bits the keeper near post. It looked like it came off the post. Bell got it. Kelly just played a beautiful ball into Martin. Martin looks up. Plays a ball into Wickham. Who turns and plays it off oh, beautifully. And Kane. Oh yeah. Didn't even hit the post. Didn't even hit the post. It looked like it did. It went straight through the keeper's arms and into the bottom corner. And it's Barney United 4, Balna Henge 2. And this is much better from Barney United in the second half. I changed it to attacking, as you probably noticed. And Bomb would score two goals. As soon as they scored that penalty, I went straight into the attacking mode. And that's much better. Now I'm going to change it. To, I'm going to tell them to concentrate. Because we're 4 2 up. I'm going to leave it on attacking. I know that leaves us a little open at the back, but I'm going to ask them to concentrate and see if we can maybe get a fifth in this game. Grove United have actually scored now as well. And we give away a free kick. Jones hits a free kick and he puts it over the bar. Goal kick. But we've both had the same amount of shots on target. They've had more shots than we have as well. We've just been more, more um, clinical with our finishing. Templeton with a free kick. I tell him to concentrate, and this looks what, look what happens. McDade, Muldrew intercepts it, looks down the line to Kane. Kane's on his own. He'll run at the back four with ease. He then looks very wide to Mark Kelly. Can Kelly get a fifth? And he does. What a goal from Mark Kelly. Andy Kane let it in. Kelly was open, and he just runs in and buries it. Great goal by Mark Kelly. And that came from attacking from Muldrew in the middle of the park. Kane then runs at the back four, well back three as it was. He looks inside and Kelly's completely free. Balls into the box and buries it into the bottom corner. And it's Bond United 5, Balna Hench United 2. And this is what I like to see. Much, much better. As Balna Hench kick off. Well, it's just been a constant highlight. Templeton. Lindsay now. Can Lindsay light up the line to Khan? He can. Are we going to get a sixth goal? Khan. Khan. What's he got to do with it? Don't lose it there now. Khan gets all the way in. He plays it inside to Wickham. Wickham looks for Jack Martin. And he's put it wide and well wide. He might as well hit the corner flag with that one. And it's, we're still 5-2 up. We're up to second now in the league by goal difference. Cool. And again, Jones intercepts. But Muldrew gets there again. Khan. We'll pick up the loose ball this time. What will he do with it? He looks over the top for Kane. Kane chases it down. That's going to get easy for Max Cole this time. But he's taking it out of the box. He pumps it forward. That should be easy for my defence. Murdoch. But he's giving it away to Jones. But Murdoch intercepts and pumps it forward. Can Kane get on the end of it? Kane's trying to spread his mind. Kane goes. Can Kane make it six? He's hit the post. Anyone there for the rebound? Oh, Kane couldn't get on the rebound. And they cleared it to Patrick Burns. And oh, that should have been six. Andy Kane hit the post. He out sprinted the centre back. Hayes now with a throw in. It's fine, Ball. Ball, what will he do with it? He lays it back to Hayes, who looks for Burns. Murdoch's there, though. 
What will Murdoch do? He lays it back to Shannon, who plays a nice ball to Bell. But Bell's first touch was too heavy, and Gavin Gordon Burns gets it in. But Lindsay's there, and Lindsay gives it away, and Martin. Oh, great save by Shannon. Oh, dangerous stuff by the barn defence there. Mistake after mistake. Nearly proved to be costly. And currently, Barn are second by goal difference. I'm assuming Rosario are now drawing. I haven't been keeping an eye on the results because, unfortunately, they are. Dramara won, Rosario won. It's just there. As Bally Walder 2 0 up. Because obviously, it's just been highlight after highlight in the second half since I've gone on it since the penalty. I haven't had a chance to look at any of the other results. So, Grove United are 2 0 up over the University of Jordanstown. And Bally Walder 2 0 up, as I just said. And Balnehenge, obviously, as you know, we're 5 2 up. So, it's just been us and then Grove United and now Bally Walder. So, huh, it's been exciting this second half. And Dundonald now are 2 1 up over Porta Ferry. But it's been an exciting second half. McDade, Bell intercepts it. Great football by Bell. He now finds Colin, who then gives it away. Terrible. And he's found McDade. And Shannon with a great save. Oh, he didn't save it. He put it wide. It looked like Shannon saved that. But I'll take the goal kick all day long. As Dun Murray are now 2 1 up over Colin Valley as well. But we're still second in the table, which is a nice way. We're in the automatic promotion spot, where I want to be at the end of the season. So this is a very good game. We get Rosario next in the league and in the first round of the Irish Cup. So that's going to be a double header against the same team. Both games are away, so both games are to Rosario. So that's going to be even harder for us. But I'm looking forward to it. We're up to seven points. In the final three minutes, we're 5-2 up again at home against Ballinahenge United. By the way, Barnes Stadium looks nothing like that in real life. It's literally a metal surrounding with a standard behind one goal. And a little clubhouse. Changing rooms. I don't think it has a club. It does have a little bar in it. And a function room in it. So yeah, that's really it. And a car park drives around it. That's about it. So Burns on the ball now. He's found Templeton. He finds Ball, but Boyd intercepts it. He finds Muldrew in the middle. He finds Gavin Conn. Now, can Gavin Conn put a decent pass in? No, he cannot. He just knocks it all the way forward to Cole, who will pick that up with ease. And Cole's wasting time. And there it is, the final whistle. Beautiful second-half performance. And it all really changed from the second they scored that second penalty. I changed it to attacking. And boom, Andy Kane, Ben Murdoch, and Mark Kelly annihilated Balnehenge United and it was Barn 5, Balnehenge United 2, much much better I'm a happier man now, they should be delighted, absolutely loving the performance in that second half, gave away two sloppy easy goals, no offence it was two very simple goals for them, I'm going to save the game now so that we don't uh, lose any of the data so we're up the second in the league as you can see, unbeaten for the start of the season, what more can we ask for for a new series in Northern Ireland with my local boyhood return series. It's been a fantastic start to it. Let's hope we continue it on. Obviously, I'm not expecting to win every game. I'm expecting to lose a few. But my aim this season is to try and get out of this division first time of asking. If we can't do it, we'll be amazing. So, guys, thank you very much. If, you've been, if you're enjoying this little series, hit that thumbs up like button so other people can go out and enjoy it also. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button because we've got a journeyman series. we got a non-league, the Premier League series. And we've also got Motorsport Manager. We've now got the Boyhood Returns. And I've got loads more content that I'm going to be adding on. I've got my new desktop nearly built now. So I've only got to fit a couple of parts. And hopefully the new year will fit those. And we'll have a more stable and not jumping videos as well. Which will be a much better experience for everyone. So guys, thank you very much. Have a good one. See you the next time. All the best. Bye.